center of gravity or g is the single point with a downward force of gravity x the center of gravity is the combined effect of the positions and weight of everything on board a vessel center of gravity moves towards any added weight away from any removed weight and in the same direction as any shift in weight on a properly managed vessel the center of gravity should be maintained on the center line for maximum stability because it is a point in three dimensional space there are three coordinates used to describe these positions the vertical center of gravity or bcg or kg is measured apart from the keel the transverse center of gravity tcg is measured from the center line the longitudinal center of gravity lcg is usually measured from the forward perpendicular or from midships understanding where a vessel center of gravity is located and how it moves it vital for ships officers because it is one property of ships stability that they have the most control over as cargo is loaded or blast tanks are filled the center of gravity moves accordingly how will on officers understanding that principle will keep his vessel afloat in heavy weather center of buoyancy or v is the single point where the upward force of buoyancy acts it is located at the geometric center of the displaced volume or the area of hull bends the water line when the shifts rules in the water the shape of the area bends the water line changes the center of buoyancy is constantly moving to stay on the center of that area the key of understanding stability is understanding how the center of buoyancy moves g and v have equal force acting in opposite directions as the vessel rolls the distance between the downward force of g and the upward force of v creates a writing moment that returns the vessel to, to the upright position trim is the difference in draft forward and aft The trim of a vessel can be found by reading the draft marks on its hull. Those draft marks are placed as close to the perpendiculars as the shape of the hull allows. A vessel freeboard is the vertical distance between the water line, height water tight deck of the hull. Usually the main deck freeboard is important because it is a part of what distance the volume of the shape above the water line. the water plane area or awp of a vessel it is horizontal intersection of the water plane and the vessel sides the bigger of vessels water plane area is the greater the surface of the hull is the buoyancy will be acting against for this reason in the same of two vessel who is the same weight added the one with the greater water plane area will have a small change in draft As the vessel rolls in the water, its water plane area increases as long as there is a freeboard available to add to it. The larger vessel water plane area because when it rolls the more buoyant force it develops. That's why freeboard is indicative of a ship's reserve buoyancy or additional buoyancy at larger angle of rolls. Longitudinal center of flotation or LCF is the geometric center of the water plane area. The LCF is the point about which the vessel trims. Note, the LCF is not necessarily located at midships. Its location is determined by the shape of the water area and the trim of the vessel. Its stability is the tendency of vessel to right itself. When a vessel is tilted by an outside force such as wind or waves and it returns to its original position, it has opposite stability.